3,100, 20 pounds of throwback camping looking fun here. A Capri 199 Double D Bunkhouse rolling in at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Just came in on trade. Cute as a button. Again, has that classic kind of throwback look to it. Um, I like the kind of quilted print on some of those aluminum side panels as well. This is eight foot wide, which is less common in a single axle bunkhouse camper. And I'm not gonna lie, as a person who lives in the internet, I don't know if you've seen it, but I cannot stand in front of this camper and not picture that video where unfortunately a little deer on the highway goes right through the front of one of these things. All right, you can take a look now again, kids, but thankfully, the one uh, shown in that video is not the camper in this video. So this is a Corner Camp Queen. Um, it is a little bit bigger than you find sometimes in single axle models. So it is a full 60 inches wide instead of a shave 54. It is a 74 inch long short queen though. Um, you can tell that because it has a full size uh, stand here at the base of it. But that is nice because it does give you some handy storage that you would lose otherwise. TV hookups ready and available for you here on the wall. There's all LED lighting through it. That is something that I thought was a nice little touch on. There's a bunch of neat little nice touches on this. I'll give them credit. It's a cute camper. I like the color palette, that seafoam kind of green, that sort of throwback 50s kind of thing. Eh, I'm digging it. It's got a good hop and feel to it. I like this spot. With this being eight foot wide, though, there's space right here by the door where you can come in and kick off your shoes. And once you know it, they left us a handy shoe garage down there to accomplish exactly that. As we work our way around over here, Pretty common layout. Everybody and their brother builds something like this, but with this being an eight foot wide version, one of the distinctive features that's easy to miss here is that that is a larger four seater dinette. And if you are noticing, that can fold down into an extra sleeper as well. Another of those nice touches I mentioned, I'm probably at the wrong angle for it right here, but that drawer right here on the dining bench, that was just, that's a nice touch. Good job, that was well done. Carpetless, easy cleaning, ventless flooring. I like those household outlets right there under the dinette. Very handy for like phone chargers and whatnot. If you choose to throw a TV into the camper, obviously it was already prepped for it, but this would be uh, our stereo system here and it is DVD, which is something that a lot of RVs seem to slowly be phasing out. Uh, probably because everybody's going more to streaming media. Now up here, this is not a power vent, but it is a uh, t uh, you know crank open vent lid, so it's kind of a skylight and a way to get some fresh airflow and some heat exhausted out of this thing. It is not a cargo bunkhouse. Some people like those, some people don't. This is one that does not open up from the outside for cargo space. But below that <laughs> cute as a button kitchen counter right there with that cool kind of throwback print, We've got ourselves plenty of cabinet space in that single drawer below the oven, giving us plenty of room for our, uh, you know, utensils, forks, spoons, knives, all that you're going to need in a little camper like this. It is a conventional six and a half foot tall, which means, let me see if I can spin this around. Um, you know, a tall person like me, I can just fit under the air conditioner, but I can fit. I am doing it without hitting my head, which is kind of nice. Uh, working our way back to the bathroom past the two door separate freezer and fridge, not combo, which is a nice touch. The bathroom. It is plain, it is bare, it is sparse, but that does also mean that it's spacious. It doesn't feel cluttered, it doesn't feel claustrophobic. It wouldn't be hard to add a little like uh, towel hanging rack on the walls or anything like that. Um, this is one area that the designers definitely did what they could to save as much money as possible. And a little giveaway to that, and it's not that this is a criticism, it's just uh, I'm making you folks aware of something. This is not shower surround paneling. This is wall paneling. Blue on wall paneling just like over here. It's just white so it looks like shower surround and there's nothing wrong with that. All you need to do when you're done taking your shower, take your towel, wipe the wall down real quick. As long as you do that, frankly this should never really be a problem. I think part of what makes this one so fun is the combination of old and new. You've got that throwback kind of look to it but you've got things like you know DVD player, up updated fridge, power awning, you know, that, that kind of newer touch-up stuff it helps kind of dust off the old feel so it's it, it looks classic and fun and it is you know especially on the inside i love the way the inside and the outside decor is kind of tying into one another not enough rvs do that i think but um you get a lot of the more modern things like you get updated axles compared to when classic campers were out that's something people don't think about you can't just use old axles on rvs that is why actually that reissue of shasta air flights was all recalled they were using illegal axles whoops 
Our main wheels are aluminum, gives it that good kind of shine. You see the spare tire is a conventional steel wheel, but its job is to get us out of a pinch. Its job is to not look good. I think I just throw a little black or white slip cover over that and call it good. If you can find a seafoam gray one to tie into the color package, it's going to look even better. One other thing I noticed before we wrap up, previous owners did upgrade the uh, entry handle. That's like the only non-factory thing that I see on this. Everything else looks like it pretty much just came straight off the assembly line. So give us a call. We do it all here at Halet RV. Hitching pieces, parts, trades, finance, RV delivery, and everything in between. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.